Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching jQuery tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about event delegation. And guys, all the notes of this video will be there on my website tyclassroom.com. And all the code that we'll write in this video, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the important links in the YouTube video description, so please check that out. And guys, if you haven't already, then please subscribe my channel by clicking that subscribe button and click that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright, I've opened the project folder in Sublime Text and inside the project folder, I have created a new file event-delegation.html, which is this one. And I have written the following HTML code. And inside the JS folder, I have created a new file event-delegation.js, which is this one. And I've included this JS file inside the HTML file by writing this script tag. And since we are going to use jQuery, so I have already included jQuery, which is also inside the JS folder. Now we'll save this file and go ahead and open this in Chrome. So we'll open the project folder and then we'll open this event-delegation.html file. And we'll also open the dev tools. So we'll go to view developer and we'll select the dev tools and we'll switch to the console tab and since this is empty that means we don't have any error all right what is event delegation well event delegation is a process of adding an event handler to a parent element of a targeted child element so the parent element will then delegate the event handler to the child element. And to understand this, we'll take an example. So let's say inside the body, we have a div having ID sample dash container. And inside this div, let's say we have two buttons. Button one having class sample dash button. And it says button one. And let's say we have another button and this button also has a class sample dash button and the text is button two. So if we save this file, go back to Chrome and reload the page, we get the two buttons, button one and button two. Now we don't have any event handler for the click event. So nothing happens when we click these two buttons. So now let us go ahead and add a click event handler for these two buttons having class sample dash button. So we'll go inside our JS file. We'll add a click event handler. So click event handler using the dot on method. So we are targeting these two buttons having class sample dash button. So when we are targeting the element by class, we'll write dollar round brackets and within double quotes dot then the class and the class is sample dash button. Then we'll call the on method and we are handling the click event. So click, then we'll have a function and inside this function we'll handle the click event. So any code inside this function will get executed when the click event occurs. So let's say when the button is clicked, we want to show a message saying button clicked. So inside this function we'll write, or let's say we'll alert button clicked. So by writing this code, we are targeting all the buttons having class sample dash button. And then we are attaching the click event handler. And when those button gets clicked, we get to see an alert box and the message button clicked. So if we save this file, go back to Chrome and reload the page. And now if we click the button, we get the alert box button clicked. So if we click the second button, we again get the same message button clicked. We can even show the text of the buttons. So for that, we can go back to our code and add dollar round brackets this dot text. 
And now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload. And now if we click, we get button clicked, button one. Now we can add some space. So let me give a space, save the file, go back to Chrome and reload. So now if we click button one, we get button clicked, button one. And if we click button two, we get button clicked, button two. We can even change the message. So let's say the message is text of the button, then clicked. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and now reload. And now if we click the button, so button one clicked. And if we click button number two, we get button two clicked. Now let's say after three seconds, our code will dynamically add a new button, button three. So we'll go back to our JS file and inside our code, let's say, we will add a new button, button three after three seconds. So we'll use the set timeout and we'll pass a function which gets executed after three seconds. And inside this, we'll first target this container div having ID sample dash container. So we'll copy this. And since we are targeting it by ID, so we'll write hash, then the ID. And we want to append a new button. So button HTML and button HTML is, let's say button Text is button three. And this button also has a class sample dash button. Now please note, since I'm using double quotes, so inside this double quotes for the class, I'm using single quotes. So this code will get executed after three seconds and Inside this function, we have created a variable var button HTML, which contains the HTML for the button. So we are creating a button having class sample dash button and the text is button three. And then we are targeting the div having ID sample dash container. And inside that div, we are appending this new button. So now if we save this file, go back to Chrome and reload, we'll get a new button after three seconds. And we have the new button. So if we reload, one second, two second, three second, we get the third button. And if we inspect this button three in the elements tab, we can see inside this div having ID sample dash container, we have the button having class sample dash button. Now, since this button three also has the class, sample dash button, that means this button three also gets the click event handler. So if we click this button three, we'll get the message button three clicked. So let us go ahead and click this button three. Well, nothing happens. Let us click button one and we get the message. Button two, we get the message, but button three, we don't get anything. Well, this is because when the code gets executed, it first scans the entire DOM and attaches this click event handler to all the button having class sample dash button. So when the page gets loaded, we only have two buttons. So this code attaches the click event handler to those two buttons having class sample dash button. So the click event handler gets added to the button one and button two. Now, after three seconds, a third button is added inside the div having ID sample dash container. And the third button also gets the class 
sample dash button. But since this code has already executed, so the click event handler is not added to the third button. So when we click this third button, we don't get any output. And to solve this problem, we use the event delegation. So let us go ahead and change our code to use event delegation. So we'll comment this code. And now we'll use event delegation using event delegation to add click event handler. The syntax for event delegation is we first write dollar round brackets and we have a selector and this is the parent element then we call the on method then we have the event that we want to handle comma then we have the delegate selector then we have a function and inside this function we have some code so we first target the parent element so in this case our parent element is this div having id sample dash container so we'll replace this selector by writing hash and then sample dash container and we want to handle the click event so we'll replace this event with click and our child element is dot sample dash button and inside this function we'll use the same code to show the alert message so we'll copy this and paste it here so by writing this code we are delegating the click event from the parent element having id sample dash container to the child element having class sample dash button so Whenever a new button having class sample dash button is added inside the div having id sample dash container, it will automatically get the click event handler. So now if we save this file, go back to Chrome and reload, after three seconds, we get the third button, button three, and this time, since we are using event delegation, all these three buttons can handle the click event. So if we click this button one, we get the message button one clicked. If we click button two, we get the message button two clicked. And if we click button three, we get the message button three clicked. And so we solve the problem that we faced earlier using event delegation. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the important links in the YouTube video description, so please check that out. And guys, if you haven't already, then please subscribe my channel by clicking that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video and like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye!